What's up guys, we're back with another YouTube video. Uh, my name is Get It Gary, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Elite Moto Tech levers. All right guys, so today I'm here to tell you about the Elite Moto Tech Easy Pull um, Harley lever. Um, Elite has specifically made this, this lever right here for Harley Davidson motorcycles. As you guys know, if you ride Harleys, you will get the pump, the arm pump from, from, from pulling that lever. If you're out session, if you're doing donuts, if you're doing wheelies, if you're learning, if you're in traffic, like I know you've got an arm pump from that stock lever. So I'm here to tell you about this lever right here. It's the Elite Mototech lever, CNC machined. It's a super nice lever. You can get them in any colorway. I obviously chose purple and chrome. I thought it was fitting, so that's what I chose. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to install this thing. This is a product that I think everybody should have on their bike. It just makes sense. It's uh, functionable, it's cute, it's, it's cute, it's cool, it's cool. And uh, yeah, I think it complements anybody's bike nicely. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to install it. I stand behind this product and uh, let's get going. So I just wanna say that this lever right here, it really did change my game. Um, before I could go out and sesh for, you know, 10 minutes at a time, I have to take a break because I'm getting tired. Um, and then once I put the Elite Moto Tech on, I've been running it for over a year now. I could go out and sesh for 30 minutes and ride twice as hard. And so um, when you're putting in that seat time, that saddle time, that's key is like just having, just being able to function on your bike and feel comfortable. Once you get fatigued, it's, it's not as fun, it's scary. You really should set the bike down once you're fatigued, you don't feel on top of it. And this part right here allowed me to, to really put my full potential into my, my game. So let's get started. Let's, let's put this thing in. Let's go over these super simple tools you're gonna use uh, for this install. This is gonna be a really simple install. Anybody should be able to do this with a few tools from home. You'll be able to do this all by yourself and you can be a mechanical yourself. So let's get started. This is a three millimeter Allen head. This is a five millimeter Allen head. And then I got a 13 mil and a 14 mil. So let's get started. We'll do step one, step two, step three, and we'll show you guys how to do it. And you too can have your Elite Moto Tech installed very quickly. Step one, you're gonna come down here, guys. You're gonna find your clutch adjustment. My motor's hot. Oh, you might lose some things in the meantime, but you're gonna find your clutch adjustment here and you wanna loosen your clutch adjustment. I was going the wrong way there. So go the right way, loosen your adjustment nut. I'm gonna twist this bad boy all the way up until you're gonna twist this bad boy all the way up. And if you come up here to your lever, full play. So that's where we wanna be on that step. So next, grab your five millimeter Allen and simply remove these bolts. Remove these little bad boys. They're, they're holding this thing on the handlebar so it doesn't fall off. In case you didn't know, that's the purpose for these bolts here. And you do have to remove them all the way unless you wanna take your grip off. But they come out nice and easy. Like I said, anybody should be able to do this at home. It's a really easy, straightforward job. And then your lever is gonna be free. You have a free lever, look at that. Now we can work with it. Neat, huh? So next, take your three millimeter Allen here and there's a cover on the back side where the clutch cable goes into the lever itself. And we're gonna remove this little guy here. And this holds it in place. So we're gonna remove this little, this little nut here, this little bolt, this little flange nut, whatever it is. This guy, see it was sitting right over the top of that, right over the top of your clutch cable. There we go. So next, we just repeat process I just showed you backwards. Okay guys, so when you get your Elite Moto Tech lever in the mail, it's gonna come just like this. Um, so step one, go on the back of the lever, just like we just pulled this one off, you've seen it, but we're gonna pull this little cap off. And we're gonna pull this cap off, and then it'll be, it'll be ready to, to install. So uh, once we're at this process right here, once you have your new lever disassembled, ready to go, you have that cap off, take your lever, look at it like this. Look, it's kind of like Tetris. It's like a little puzzle. It just goes right in here. You can get the cable in there and then it'll just fall right into place. And that step is done. Next, we're gonna put this cap on. 
So we got this cap. It just goes into place just like this. Um, and make sure you have it the right way. Because I don't think I do, and I don't. It goes this way. Your, your uh, nut that goes in here is tapered. So just make sure it makes sense that it sits inside the groove like that. Start to thread it. Use your Allen. That's the left hand, guys. That's the left hand. That's some skill right there. Give her a nice cinch. And they put assembly lube in this, so everything's all good, ready to go. Just tighten it up, torque to spec. You can feel it. Just right when your your uh, right when your fingers shake a little. That's how you know it's torque to spec. So look at that. You got thing that thing in in there. But next part of the process, last part of the process, actually second to last part of the process, um, we're gonna just put the lever on the bars here. Super in, super basic install. Obviously just throw that cap on there. Start to get it threaded. Once that one starts threading, throw this one in. And try to get a even, even amount of torque on both of them. Uh, make sure you got it set where you want it, you know, make sure it's not too far this way, not too far this way. I like mine right about right there. So we're gonna get this nice and even. Make sure you check that angle. I like mine down a little bit when I'm standing over the front of the bike. So I'll probably run it about right there. Give her that last little torque to spec. You can tell it's torqued by how your fingers just when you do that little shake. See? And you have to make that noise too, or else it's probably not torque to spec. Okay guys, so go grab your 13 and 14. We're back to uh, basically step one of the process, but backwards, we're gonna, I'm gonna pull this off, back off. Back this back out. We wanna find that good play point in the clutch. I'm just gonna play with it. So the stock Harley clutches call for about um, a nickel of play. So when you pull on it right here, you should have about a nickel. The elite with the angle and how the easy pull works, I like to run mine right up to like the fine point on the end. I found that the engagement's the best that way. Um, and that just, that's kind of where the clutch likes to operate the most. So the stock Harley spec is like I said, a nickel of play. This just run it right up about to the end and we should be good. So, and if I have to, I'll fine tune it, but as for right now, I'm pretty safe. That's a pretty safe bet that right there is a good good spot to run it. Come back, do the little torque to spec. You know how it goes, torque to spec. A little tight, I think I, I, think I twisted it. So I'm gonna break that loose, back that off. Okay, now just tighten them up. After they're tight, you're good to go. Pull that sleeve back over, up like this, so your uh, adjustment doesn't get all weathered, rusty, eroded. Throw your clip back on to hold it to your frame. You're good to go, baby. And before I forget, I didn't do an install video on this, but Elite Moto Tech did send me a front brake lever as well. It looks super clean. It just replaces your OEM brake lever. Um, I didn't bring the tool with me to replace it here, but all you do is there's a little clip on the bottom of this uh, pin here. Remove that clip, push that pin out, set that new lever in place, push the pin in place, and then put that clip back on. You're ready to go. I did it with some, uh, some, little, uh, some little pick tools because I didn't have an actual clip remover. So I, I made it work, but it's a super clean little add-on on your bike, super clean little brake lever. I think it changes the angle a little bit so your fingers sit in the pocket a little bit better, um, but it just complements the bike nicely. So shout out to Elite for that one. All right guys, so I showed you the install on the Easy Pull HD lever. I showed you the uh, brake lever, the front brake lever if these guys sent me, how it's super easy to replace, um, reinstall, whatever. Um, but now I wanna put this stuff to the test and uh, show you guys how it actually works. So we're gonna go hit a couple rollers, maybe a couple wheelies, and uh, we'll cut the video. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope you guys enjoyed the install video. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell a friend, go follow Elite Moto Tech. I'll tag them right here. Um, and uh, go hit their website and tell them I sent you. So thanks guys, see you soon.